what is this person doing right here? Well, of course, she's in a Zoom meeting. Before COVID, though, you never heard the word Zoom, right? But it is a common tech term. Today, I'm going to teach you a new tech term. Here it is. It's over there. It's called dark pattern. That's right. A dark pattern is a manipulative practice or an intentional confusing of language. And here's where you find it. Online sites, apps, they pop up asking you to say yes to privacy settings on something that you want. And when you're trying to unsubscribe from a site or apps that you no longer look at, this is more than just an annoyance. These manipulative practices can make people pay more than they should for a service or push them to agree to let a company collect an excessive amount of their personal data. So when you start seeing these things pop up, arrows and things that you got to check to make things happen or not happen, you really do want to slow down, take a moment to examine the language that you're seeing or the buttons that you're clicking off. Don't assume that the default choices of any app are the right privacy settings that you really want. Now to combat the issue, Consumer Reports and several partners launched the Dark Patterns tip line, where consumers can anonymously submit dark patterns that they see online. The tip line is meant to educate consumers and help researchers identify trends, spot repeat offenders, and advocate for better policy reforms. So I got to tell you, there's no law against these dark patterns, but there is a movement now to hold companies more accountable for what they say in them. This is the website where you can report what you see. They're going to ask you to upload a picture, but nowhere in this are they going to ask you for your name or personal information.